We've been looking at conservation of energy, and we've been, and we've been looking at the conservation of gravitational potential energy, but there's other forms of potential energy out there. In this activity, you're going to be looking at springs and spring potential energy. First thing I want you to do is try and figure out what the uh, spring constant is for these springs. Now, you're going to notice over here there are a variety of ways you can manipulate the springs. So I want you to figure out what the spring constant is in this case. And, and of course, we know that the spring constant is going to be equal to the slope of that force distance or force displacement graph. Once you find the spring constant, you should be able to figure out what the masses, what the mystery masses are. Okay, and you can move this ruler all around. Now the last thing we need to deal with is the spring potential energy that gets stored in the spring as gravity does work through distance on these springs. So, something to remember from before, because we have a problem here, we don't have a nice u uniform force being applied through a distance, that force is increasing as we stretch the spring out. However, we can solve that if we just remember that sort of rule of thumb we looked at in the last one, that work is equal to the area underneath this force displacement graph, and we can actually come up with a nice formula that tells us what the potential energy of a spring is based on how it's stretched out. So, who remembers the formula for the area under a triangle?